Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and in this video, we're gonna move forward one more step uh, for this Hello World app. I'm pretty sure not a lot of you has created such a comprehensive Hello World app, but that's the way how we roll out. So in this video, we're gonna do the final touch of an application. So, so far our application is looking good. It has its own custom icon that we have learned how to design in XD. It's having some of the functionality. I totally agree with you. Functionality wise, this app is not really great, but eventually as we proceed, we are going to learn how to introduce more functionality. But for a Hello World app, when you click on a button, it changes something on the screen. I think that's a fantastic start for our application. But there is one more thing, which is absolutely hard for me to display up here because the simulator is ridiculously fast on my machine. When you click on this, uh, your app for the very first time, I think you can notice that there is a slight uh, version when it comes with a, just a white screen and then it launches your app itself. This is known as a launch screen and this is a concept which is still a little bit holding down the legacy of the iOS development. Let me talk about what this is. If you look at your file structure here, you're gonna see that there is a launch screen dot storyboard. In the earlier version of the iOS development, we used to work totally on the storyboard. There was no concept of Swift UI. This is being introduced in iOS 13. Before that, we have to manually drag and drop everything on the screen just like here. So in this video, we're gonna just take down this one more thing which makes app complete. So we're gonna launch a storyboard icon here. But before we go ahead and do, we are gonna go into the X asset. And here is my Adobe XD web page. Uh, previously, we have actually designed this app icon into this purple-ish shade. Now we are having a transparent icon. So what I've done, let me just show you. I have actually exported these icons. And again, when you try, just uh, click on uh, Command E, it will give you option that how you want to just export them. If you click on the iOS, it will give you three uh, versions of three variants of this uh, particular icon. So I just did that and this is a transparent one and let me show you how does that look. So this is how it looks like. It's having a hello, uh, there we go. I hope it fits on my screen. So it is having three versions of that. Now what you have to do is go up into the screen and just drag and drop all of these three. So these three go up directly into the X asset and there we go. It automatically just matches all the things as 1X, 2X and 3X. Now we want to display this logo on our storyboard. So we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna open up this right panel on this because this is very important. So we're gonna click on this and notice here it says safe area and then the view. Now in the view, you can change what is going to be the background for this one. If you click on this background, you can see there are variety of colors and uh, at the very top, which I'm pretty sure is not in my area, you're gonna see uh, tint purple and all these colors as well. But again, you can mention any of this color. I have no problem. You can use the system purple color as well, uh, whatever you like. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, that's actually too much harsh on the color. Uh, I'm gonna choose the tint blue. That is actually relatively better, not the great one, not the great one. And we're gonna use that. Now, not only that, we are gonna click on uh, we want to add more stuff on this and adding the things on the storyboard used to be a little bit tough as compared to anything else. So, go, so just go ahead and click on this plus icon and we want to insert an image. So I'm gonna just look for image. This brings out a UI image and we are going to just drag and drop this UI image view almost to the center. These guidelines help me to do this. And now I'm gonna drag from drag and drop, I'm gonna select the image, which is going to be the hello, my hello logo here. Now adjust the size as you like, and there are a variety of other options that you can choose on, like aspect fill, uh, there is a scale to fill, there is an aspect fill. Uh, there is a lot that you can do. I'm gonna go for aspect fit because that actually looks pretty good on my screen. But if you're gonna just run this like this, things are not gonna work and things are not gonna look good. Because when we work on the storyboard, we have to worry about the constraint as well because we have so many devices and so many sizes of this iOS, we need to do a fix work that it should be like this much from the distance from the top, this much distance from the left, the size should be fixed. And this all is done from these uh, four logos or icons at the very bottom. And when you click on each one of them, you can see we have add missing constraint, clear missing constraint. We have uh, this guy up here, which makes sure that everything is like that and all of that. So for this one, follow along. What I really want that I don't want logo to be stretched out. So I'm gonna click on this 
fixed width and fixed height. So that's two constraint. I'm going to add these constraint. So this keeps my logo at this specific fixed size. I'm going to click this on again. And now I'm going to fix it from the top and from the left and from the right as well. And I'm going to add these three constraints. I don't need to add a constraint from the bottom because once I have specifically mentioned that this should be size from the top, this should be from the left, this is the distance, then my logo I'm pretty sure is always going to be up here. And yes, you guessed it right, in the previous version of the iOS, we have to explicitly mention each and every form just like this. Definitely there are better ways of doing it without storyboard as well, but this is the final touch that we want to give to our application. Now it's time that we run our application and I'm going to fire up my uh, simulator and it's going to be absolutely hard to see that, but notice now your app can be called as a complete Hello World app. Let's go ahead and try it one more time because it's so fun to just see your creation right firsthand. So the app looks good. It has a customized icon design. Once I click on that, it has a nice subtle uh, storyboard or splash screen that comes out. It should always be minimal. There should not be too much of the information there. Just a little bit touch of the branding goes up there. Once we open up, our app is very nice, minimalistic, of course, all the way white. It shows my name and when I click on my button, it changes it to my surname, which is a little bit hard for you to spell out. Again, Pretty good, pretty fantastic application that we have designed within a few minutes. So I'm going to call this section as completely done. Now we are totally free from our Hello World section. And just imagine, just look at the post just a couple of days ago. You had absolutely no idea how to design an application. Now you know how to design a classic Hello World application, which has all the feature app icon, the splash screen and button also does a little bit more than just printing on the console. Hello World. So this is a fantastic start and I hope you are all excited to what's coming up next. There's a lot more to come up, but this is the end of our Hello World section. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next section and we're going to have a lot more fun there as well. Let's go ahead and catch up there.